But who likes to have to hunt around for a manipulator all the time? With Next, you don't always have to. Simply drop your selection and you'll automatically be placed in the Next Tweak mode. Transform components with pre-selection highlighting or even combine that with soft selection and you can quickly deform high resolution meshes. Want to slide components? With Next, you'll get the most powerful slide tool ever created for Maya. Slide any component, vertices, edges, or faces. Of course, slide works with our built-in tweaking technology as well as soft selection and can be used with the move, rotate, or scale tool. By the way, to toggle soft selection on or off, simply press the B key. To change your falloff range, hold down on the B key and left click drag to dynamically resize your falloff range. As you're watching this, you're already getting a glimpse of some of the power of pre-selection highlighting within Next. Pre-selection highlighting is integrated throughout all of the functions within Next. This makes selecting components a lot easier because you don't have to meticulously rest your cursor over a component to select it. And pre-selection highlighting isn't just used for selecting. You can use it to tweak components using the middle mouse button. For even greater power, enter the multi-component mode within Next so you can tweak vertices, edges, and faces all within the same mode. Or by holding down Ctrl plus Shift, extrude vertices or faces or even bevel edges as if it's a tweak tool. Everything works with everything. What if I wanted to just select the components as I hover over them? That's easy. Just hold the tab key and left click drag to engage the next raycast selection tool. Start on a component that's not selected to add those components. Start on a component that's already selected to subtract those components to your selection. The next thing I want to talk about is how we've integrated next into Maya. We wanted to make it seamless. So here's how it works. Notice that when I enter component mode, either by using the marking menu or by using any other means within Maya, I will automatically be put into the next tool. Now that I'm in the next tool, I can switch to some of the sub tools within Next, like Raycast, Move, Rotate, Scale, or even Target Weld. Next will automatically recognize what hotkeys you have for the native Maya Move, Rotate, Scale, and adopt those for the next tools. You don't have to change a single hotkey. If you don't want this integration to happen automatically, click the Next Integration Toggle button off within the status line. Now you can enter the next tool or any of its sub-tools manually by finding it in the next menu or within the next panel. Everything I've shown you in this video is just a small sample of what Next is all about. Throughout the coming months, we're going to continue to enhance Next in every facet by further enhancing the modeling tools, implementing our exciting new animation and texturing tools, as well as add some nice additions to the rendering and lighting areas of Maya. In fact, Next version 1.0 has a bunch of assorted features you can already use beyond modeling, like automatic texture updates or mask safe frame mode, just to name a few. We hope you enjoy using Next. If you have any specific features that you'd like to see added into Next, let us know. We're always listening.